Hey guys, and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to record your screen of your iOS device. I know it's a little more basic tutorial, but I realize that not everyone watches every single iOS update video, so there are people who don't know about this screen recording feature of the iOS 11. And in today's video I just want to summarize all of the functions, all of the features that you need to know about this iOS screen recording. So this is Apple Fox channel and let's get started with the video. I used to make videos like this in the past, but I only show you that you need to download some third party application, not even from the App Store. And even though it was working, it was not really convenient and it was not really reliable, you know, like it often crashed and it was not doing really well. It wasn't basically a good experience to use this type of application. And in the iOS 11, Apple decided that we can do the very same thing, but naturally, without downloading any kind of third party software, and we can do it right from the iOS 11. To get started, just swipe up on the home screen in order to access the control center, which is actually also a multitasking panel, but I don't have any running applications in the background. So that's the reason why you don't see any applications in here and try to find the screen recording icon on the right side of the screen. So just try to find it amongst these icons, but as you can see, it is not here. The icon looks pretty usual. I'm of course sure that you have seen it already. It looks like a circle that represents the screen recording, but it is simply not here. So we just need to do something about it in order to make it appear right here. So now just open up the settings and navigate to the control center. And as you can see, you have the toggle to customize the controls. So click on it. And here you can see all of the available toggles that you can put into the control center in order to access it anytime. This is the icon I was talking about and click on a green plus icon. Here you can also change the position of this toggle but it doesn't really matter. And now when you swipe up you can see that the icon is right there and that's it. You can always make a screen recording every time you want because the control center is accessible pretty much inside of any application. By the way, it doesn't only work on the iPad. I'm using the Mini 4 just for this video, but it works on any iPhone or any iPad running the iOS 11. And now let's take a look how it works in real life. So let's say I want to show someone how to do something in the settings or it doesn't really matter, but let's take for example the settings. So I open it up. I find a thing that I want to share with someone and now when I'm ready to go, I just swipe up and click on the screen record icon. And now it's going to give you the timer so you can prepare for your screen recording. And the red bar at the top simply indicates that the screen is being recorded at this point of time. And now I can finally show someone what I want to share with them. And now when you want to stop recording, you have the option to click on the red bar at the top and it's going to tell you if you really want to stop it. So click on stop if you wish so. Or you can still swipe up in order to see the toggle in the control center which is blinking and just simply tap on it. So it should stop it right there. And you also get a notification at the top which basically tells you that the screen recording has been successfully saved to the photos and you can access it anytime and take a look at it anytime you want. And now inside of photos this is how the screen recording looks like. As you can see I'm not doing anything with the screen with my hands it is simply a screen record. Bottom of the screen, you can also notice that the video is being played at the moment. Also, don't try to record any kind of TV episodes or anything like that from Netflix, for example, or from Hulu. It doesn't really matter what it is, but you are not allowed to do this. But you probably won't even be able to do this because the screen is gonna get black when you won't try to record any kind of TV episodes from Netflix. So this is how it works on the iOS 11. And the reason behind it is that Apple doesn't want us to do that. In the YouTube app, it is a complete opposite because because you are allowed to take a video and you can basically save a video from YouTube right to your photos without any additional software. Keep in mind that I'm not telling you that it is a good idea to download some other YouTube videos and use it as your own. This is not something that you are allowed to do, but it is possible in the iOS 11. So guys, that's it. We have got to the end of this video in which I just want to show you how you can record your screen of any iOS 11 running device. I really hope you like it. If you did, then leave a like on this video to let me know. If you enjoyed this video, also consider subscribing to the Apple Fox channel because I post a lot of Apple related videos. Anyways, have a nice day and see you in the next one.